Mop Top by Don Freeman Narrated by me This is the story of a boy who never wanted to have his hair cut. Everybody called him Moppy because on top he looked like a floppy red mop. Moppy didn't care what anybody said about his hair or what they called him. All he wanted was to stay at home and play. He sometimes played at being a soaring eagle. And he sometimes played at being a roaring lion. A good lion he made too, without even trying. But the time came when something had to be done about Moppy's top. And it happened one day when he was swinging from branch to branch in his very own chinaberry tree. His mother came out into the garden and said, Pardon me, but just who do you think you are up there, Tarzan? Oh no, mother, I'm not Tarzan, said Moppy. I'm a man from Mars, and I'm visiting all the stars and the other planets. Well then, Mr. Man from Mars, could you plan on making a landing on this Earth sometime today? We want you to hop to the barber shop and get that floppy mop clipped off before your birthday party tomorrow. The minute Moppy heard the words birthday party, he dropped down out of the tree to the ground, feet first, then stretched out his hand. Here's some money, Sonny, his mother said. I've just called Mr. Barbarelli, and he says he'll be ready for you at four o'clock sharp. It's a little after half past three now, so let's see you hippity hop to the barbershop all by yourself. Moppy put the money in his pocket, and off he zoomed across the vacant lot like a rocket to the moon. But just as soon as he turned the corner, he slowed down to a trot. Don't need my hair cut now at all. Anyway, not now. He grumbled and stumbled along until some bright red lollipops in a candy store window caught his eye. They looked so good he had to stop. While he stood there staring, what should waddle up but a frilly woolly pup? What a silly looking pup you are, said Moppy as he bent down and tried to find the pup's eyes. You're the one who needs a haircut, not me. And then they both trotted away in opposite directions. Moppy hadn't gone very far before he saw Mr. Lawson mowing his lawn. That lawn is what needs a haircut, not me, said Moppy. Mr. Lawson stopped to wipe his brow and said, How about letting me use this machine on that grassy patch of yours, boy? It could do with a little mowing. Moppy thought he ought to get going, so off he hopped. But the closer he got to the barber shop, the slower he hopped. He was nearly there when he saw a man on a ladder snipping branches off a low droopy tree. Maybe a tree needs clipping, but not me, said Moppy. Oh, I don't know about that, said the man on the ladder. You could do with a few snips of these snippers, Skipper. At that, Moppy skipped away and came at last to the barber shop. But hard as he tried, he could not go inside. He decided to run and hide in the grocery store next door where he could think things over. And this is where he hid behind a barrel of brooms and brushes and fancy red mops. By and by, a lady without her glasses came up and told the salesman she wanted a mop to help her keep her kitchen floor clean. What's more, I want the strongest, fluffiest, 
floppiest mop you have in the store, sir, she said as she began shaking the mops one at a time. Here, this one will do very well, said the lady. I'll take it along with me right now. Ouch, let go, shouted Moppy. I'm not a mop, I'm a boy. The lady certainly did let go, and in a hurry, too, as Moppy scurried out the door and headed straight for Mr. Barbaroli's barber shop. I thought you maybe forgot, said Roly-Poly Mr. Barbaroli. But you're right on the dot, it's exactly four. Then in one long leap, Moppy was up on the barber chair's seat, ready to get his hair cut nice and neat. Please, Mr. Barbaroli, don't let me look like a mop anymore, pleaded Moppy. I don't want to clean anybody's kitchen floor. In a jiffy, Mr. Barbaroli was clipping and snipping away and combing and cropping without once stopping, as if he hadn't a minute to lose. Finally, he did stop. He held up a mirror and said, Well, Sonny, who's that, would you say? It's me! It's me without that floppy old mop on top! Hooray! said the boy in the chair. Then he hopped down and gave Mr. Barbaroli the money, and out the door he flew, light as a feather. All the world looked spick and span as the boy who was once called Moppy hopped up the street for home. Everything felt new now, even the weather. The tree was neat and tidy, the lawn was nicely mowed, and look at the pup, even he had a trim. Next day at his birthday party, there was a beautiful big cake with six candles lit, and on the frosting was written, Happy Birthday to Marty, which was his real and true name all the time and forevermore.